It is just a great day for comic book fans. We have finally got Ben Affleck coming back as Batman. And oh my God, bro. It's in confirmed. the Flash movie. It's confirmed. It's confirmed. Pretty much confirmed. confirmed. Oh By the God. director of the Flash movie. Am I correct? Yep. Andy, Andy Muschietti. But mm. you already knew. I told you. Ben Affleck was coming back. I was getting signs from the universe. I Will always Sports. had hope. Yep. Always had hope. But. You know, Zack Snyder. I started to doubt. Birthday wishes. I started to doubt that, you know, maybe, will he return? No, does he really want to with Robert Pattinson already stepping in? But no, it's confirmed. Ben Affleck is getting one more movie with us. And, oh, that just makes me so happy. So happy. Yeah, and I just feel like Ben Affleck right now, he looks happy. Yeah. And like I, like I tell you every day, like, quarantine was just like, I think, the best thing for everyone. Because Ben Affleck looks happy now. He looks like he's he's in a better place now. That he's finally, you know, happy. Like I said, and I just think that bringing him back as Batman now in his happier state, it just gives him the passion to do Batman again. And last week, I think they brought the script to Ben Affleck, and he didn't and he didn't confirm that he would be coming back until this week. So he you know, said, um, if I can remember, I don't remember his exact quote, but he said, uh. They said he's in a happier place and he would be more, he would be okay mm -hmm. to play the character now. Mm -hmm. And that just makes he was me open. think. So back when Batman v Superman and Justice League, you know, he gave us a great performance, even though, you know, he was going through a bad time. Amazing. And now just think, what, and like, exactly, what is imagine... his performance going to be now that he's re like fully into it? Mm -hmm. Wild. And bro, if you think about it, dude, everyone was just hating on Ben Affleck being Batman. He still did a uh, Batman v Superman and gave us the best Batman portrayal. Mm -hmm. But now I just feel like, yeah, like you said, he's in a happier place. So imagine what this Batman could be like now since he's he's found the passion to be this this no this new Batman now. The last portrayals of Ben Affleck's Batman might be just the Snyder Cut of Justice League in this Flash movie. Mm -hmm. Maybe Wonder Woman eighty four, but, but I doubt that. I, I I highly doubt they're not going to put him in there. But just, you know, if we just get one more movie, I'm going to be satisfied. If we get one more movie with it, with Ben Affleck or maybe just a solo movie with Ben Affleck, exactly. I would be satisfied. I would love that because in Batman v Superman, I feel like that movie really was tr – it had to try and be a Batman solo movie because Superman, mm -hmm. he had already had his own movie established. You know, mm -hmm. with Man of Steel, but I feel like they had to introduce this new, brand new Batman, this brand new like world of Gotham, into an already established Man of Steel universe, but also mm -hmm. making him giving enough like already depth and story that he's progressed to the point where he's ready to fight Superman. Or just like you know, Gotham has been through a lot. Gotham and exactly. Bruce has been through a lot. And they have history, you know, and you can see that with like the, even the scratches on his suit, how tired mm -hmm. he is, even the death of Robin. Like it's just, it's just one of those things where like it, it's the casting of a lifetime. Like, but what if like in Flashpoint, you know, it's Ben Affleck's Batman, but then something changes with the timeline, so now it's Robert Pattinson. I feel like I would hate that. I don't know. I don't, that would just feel yeah, like a, I'm not a very retcon. Open to that idea. I yeah, think, like I think they just need to keep Robert Pattinson's Batman out of the DCEU. I think that's the best thing for them. Just but, keep that series separate. Exactly. You know, they don't need to be connected. And like it's another thing, like not everything needs to be connected. I just hope that he I mean, he doesn't need a big role in, in the Flash movie. Yes. I just wish that, you know, it's something significant, something to give, you know, an homage mm -hmm. to his character. Yeah. Like something to just to give a great send off to his character. If he's not gonna come back, if he's not gonna sign a multi picture deal, then give him a great send off for his character in the Flash movie. Yeah. So then yeah, you know, we had those two movies not counting Justice League. We had those two movies, Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman, which is great Batman, and we also have Flash. Yeah. And we also have the Zack Snyder Justice League, so that's at least four like, appearances I think a good way to do it with Flash would be, like, don't give him as much screen time as he did in, like, BVS and Justice League, because then it'll just suck mm -hmm. away all the attention from Ezra Miller. But don't give him as little screen time as there was in Suicide Squad. Do, do you think Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton will interact? in the flash movie mm. i don't think so like the way i kind of picture it have have uh, it happening is uh no it's just barry visiting like alternate timelines and not actually like having those different characters interact because you know i kind of don't like the older batmans you know the val kilmer michael keaton i know a lot of people do but i just kind of think they're like uh what's the word 
uh, I can't think of it. Cringy, cringy's not the word. Uh, I can't think of it. Corny. Mm. There it is. Corny. Corny? Yeah, I, don't, I really don't like the older ones. So, I, I don't know. I don't even think that would work if you have, you know, they're kind of like those old bad movies. They weren't as serious as, you know, the new ones. And so, well, I think just having them interact would be kind of off-putting. Well, Batman 89 and uh, Batman Returns were actually pretty serious. Batman Forever and Batman and Robin were the ones that were actually more campy and more corny and stuff. But those two movies, the first two Batman movies, 89 and 92, those were the ones that were actually the more serious ones. They were pretty dark. And that's why they took the, you know, to the lighter tone of Batman Forget Batman Forever because of what happened in Batman Returns, because of how dark it was, you know. So do you think it was a coincidence that the day like I think it was today or yesterday when they had split the DC fandom into two. Did you think that they when they took off the panel, like, you know, the surprise panel from DC fandom and they and they announced Ben Affleck coming back as Batman on the same day? Do you think that that was a coincidence? I don't know, because I haven't really been paying attention to like all the inner workings mm-hmm. of DC fandom like you have. Like, I'm still going to watch it. I do plan to watch it. But I haven't really been paying attention. But it does seem kind of ho- odd how they split the whole event into two and, like, pushed the second mm-hmm. half back to a later date. And then soon after, the news about Ben Affleck's high chance of returning in the Flash movie. I don't mm-hmm. I don't know. It seems kind of convenient. Yeah, because it's like one of those things where, like, DC just saw that, okay, people are actually upset that we took out that panel. Let's just throw out Batfleck out there, you know. Okay, Batfleck is coming back, everyone. So, you know, you can calm your horses. You know, you can come still see, you can still come see DC Fandom. And I truly believe that at DC Fandom, Henry Cavill will make a return as Superman and he will sign a multi picture deal. I was saying, it's like, maybe the uh, second most likely would be a Ben Affleck solo movie. And I know probably a pipe dream, but uh, that's just, I would love that so much. They just, That's like, a wet ben, if they just came back, Ben Affleck, you know, he's coming back. He's ready to play Batman. He's got his own solo movie. You know, he's going to mm-hmm. do more, more pictures. But I don't know because they have uh, Robert Pattinson stepping in as the Batman. And I don't know if they want to, like, split the, like, fan base between you have Ben Affleck and uh, uh, Robert Pattinson, like, competing. Like, uh, is this Batman movie better? Is this one better? I don't really know if that would be a good marketing. But then again, I'm, I'm, I don't own a multi-billion dollar company. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. But then again, you know, DC, they're known for their multiverse. Freaking Ezra Miller showed up in Crisis. Mm-hmm. You know, they showed up in two flashes. We don't choose. I mean, though, I do prefer Grant Gustin. But we don't choose between Ezra Miller or Grant Gustin because they both have their different flares to their characters. So they're going to be different. And I feel like fans really shouldn't have to kind of look at the similarities at yeah, them but you know because it, it makes no sense. You know how fans are. You remember when the concept art for BVS came out, everyone was hating on that on Ben Affleck. Saying, I didn't see any hate for that. Nah, I, 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 I didn't hear it. I didn't see any. I didn't see, any, about how, I didn't uh, see any hate for that concept art. Bring I back didn't. the old Dark Knight. I remember people hating on Ben Affleck saying he's the worst Batman. No, I'm talking about no, the promotional like the promotional image with him next, standing next to the Batmobile. People weren't trashing that. Yeah, but, People were trashing the idea of Ben Affleck being well, Batman. I wish that's what I, but I don't know. I saw. But, yeah, uh, I, I don't that, know, you know about that. that that's what I believe, arc. that new DC surprise thing. If it's not just comic books. If it's mm-hmm. not something about yeah. comic books, I feel like it's either going to be Henry Cavill returning in like some sort of Man of Steel 2, or you know, mm-hmm. probably, maybe Aquaman 2, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure no, everyone's Shazam. already expecting that. Yeah, Shazam 2, but Shazam, Shazam is already getting Black, his panel. Or Black Adam. Yeah, but they already yeah, have Shazam their own panels. Getting Shazam and Black Adam already have their own panel, so I, really what I would hope to see is Man of Steel 2 or a Ben Affleck solo movie with him returning in Gotham. Because oh, I love the I love what they yeah. did with Ben Affleck in BVS mm-hmm. and Justice League, and I just always wished and imagined, what if we got his own solo movie? It would be amazing. Mm-hmm. That's the wet dream. Exactly. You, know, you, you, know, you think about uh, Ben Affleck directing, starring, and, and writing the Batman movie. He was mm-hmm. very passionate about Batman until what happened with Justice League. And it's very unfortunate for everyone that was involved with the movie because, you know, the people, the higher ups, you know, they were the ones that kind of put their hands in everything Justice League and it just messed up the movie. And it's just a great 
time to be a DC fan, a Ben Affleck fan, a Flash fan, any type of fan of a DC property, even a Marvel property. You know, I'm, you know, I love Marvel, both Marvel and DC, but I do believe DC is winning right now. DC has won 2020. I can. DC, DC won 2020. Ah, you can go ahead, quit with all that cap. I do say DC is. You what know, did, it's what on did the Marvel do in 2020? It's on the what did, upcoming. What did Marvel do? But in Marvel will never lose to DC. I'm so late. It's just bigger at this point. It's kind of like how PlayStation and Xbox is right now. Like Marvel is nah, just dude. bigger. It's got fans. Like I know DC is. DC is coming up. I want DC to be able to match Marvel's level of quality because, like, a lot of their movies really are kind of iffy. Because a lot of people were iffy up with DC up until, like you said, Aquaman, Shazam, Wonder Woman, maybe Birds of Prey. I don't know. No, no really Birds of Prey was good. Everybody loved hey, Birds of Prey. Calm down. I didn't say anything bad about it. Calm down. But yeah, DC. You know, I think this is their year where they're finally starting to turn around. Like you know, yeah, they got this is their year. Justice they won twenty twenty. They didn't win 2020. They got Justice Con. Who won 2020? Up. Marvel did not win 2020. You no, know who won a, a freaking 2020? The freaking CW did, bro. Sit down. COVID. C yeah, China won. China won 2020. But like you said, no, DC, but like, DC's got stuff yeah. coming up. They've got their huge fandom event. They're showing got panels. Like, all these big actors. They have the Snyder Cut, which is one of the biggest films of the like most anticipated things. Yeah, this is this is like Infinity War any game level stuff. Yes, people are. So, yeah, I, mean, I would, That's what I'm are saying. Hyped for this they fought for this movie. People mm -hmm. have fought they, for this movie for, to come back for two years. People were fighting for this movie for two years. Yeah, and then now it's like it's up there with Avengers Endgame and Infinity War. I think you know if they play their cards right with these next few movies. You know, as you said, we got Ben Affleck coming back. People are in like hype overload on Twitter. Batfleck mm -hmm. is trending. They just and then we got DC right. fandom in two days. Mm -hmm. Bro, DC fandom is in, on Saturday. Like people are hyped for this, dude. Like and then yeah, we just got announced Batfleck. We're gonna get announced Henry Cavill coming back as Superman. If not at DC fandom, either earlier than DC fandom, after DC fandom, or during. But we're gonna have an Henry Cavill announcement. Yeah, like there's no doubt about that. I personally think that mm -hmm. Man of Steel two is probably gonna happen. Most likely, it's about time. The fans Marvel are the reason list. why Ben Affleck came back because of the fact that a lot of people just loved and loved and loved Ben Affleck's performance. And though he loved, I'm pretty sure he's seen everything. I'm I'm pretty sure he's seen everybody saying, "Please bring Ben Affleck back. Please bring Ben Affleck back." Yeah. And when he come and like when he came back, like he came back today. And he came back. Oh. The internet just exploded. But just knowing that Ben Affleck will probably be there as our Cape Crusader, ah, that just that just bring, makes me happy. Cape, Caped Crusader. Never heard someone say Never. Caped Crusader. Never heard, ba heard Batman be the Caped Crusader, the world's greatest detective. I've heard. No, I'm saying I've Gotham never heard Bat. someone in real life say that. I've heard people say that on TV. As a first. Never heard thing. people say Caped Crusader. Dude, I've heard ben people Affleck's say world greatest out detective. Out ben Affleck's worried about that. Yeah, it's just, no just a great time to be a DC fan. And that's with Michael Keaton coming back, Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill probably coming back. We this ah. it's just so crazy how fans just hated on Zack Snyder and his vision with Superman and Batman. And now we just want it even more because it's like, okay, that was not what Zack Snyder had. That is totally different. From what we were originally given. And we are so spoiled. Like us as fans. We're actually so spoiled by the MCU. Because we expect every superhero movie to be funny. And I feel like Zack yeah. Snyder's DCEU was not that. It was Everyone never meant wants to be that. that. You know, Marvel level of quality. And I'm not saying like every mm -hmm. film should be like Marvel's. But Marvel films do have that level of quality. Mm -hmm. Nowadays. But I told you. Ben Affleck was coming back. Even that day I told you. Ben Affleck is going to be back as Batman. I, I mean, you. I, I know you back, probably. I was yeah, I know hope. you probably didn't doubt it, but you know, the side of you probably hope. said, eh. "Yeah, like probably you was like, eh, you don't know, because they're not really announcing anything right now." But mm -hmm. I kept that hope. Like I was seeing signs. I was like, "Dude, Will of Fortune, Ben Affleck was the answer. Batfleck is coming back." No, that was like two days huh? ago when you said that Wheel of Fortune. Thing. But the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. yeah. It was like yeah, to like Tuesday, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it was either Tuesday or Monday, but yeah. And then with the Zack Snyder saying happy birthday to Ben Affleck with, like, the Batfleck photo, 
Mm-hmm. Bro, come on, man. That was like four days ago. So that was on Sunday, which means that he made the announcement that he would be coming back as Batflick earlier this week because he got the script for Flash last week. Be thinking, dude. The universe be speaking to me. Uh, oh, my God, dude. But this this was a great discussion once again because last time we did the uh, PlayStation Spider-Man one. But, okay. yeah, Ben Affleck is coming back as Batman for the Flash movie. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. What was that? Oh my god! <laughs> but like, yeah, Flash movie hype levels are up for that. Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, almost certain that Henry Cavill will be back for DC Family. Showing up in Flash, crazy. Oh my god, bro, crazy. It's crazy. Hey, dude, did you know Artie Dale is coming back as Iron Man? You know, oh Superman god, dies in Batman v Superman. Oh my god, I didn't even see BVS yet. Ben Affleck back as Batman. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bro, don't forget to check out the regular podcast. Bye.